Hey strong people, Kale Beck here from StartingStrongMan.com. If you've seen my old video of how to simulate a car deadlift using two barbells, some plates, and either a landmine set up in the back, which you don't see here, or you can put some dumbbells on the top. Uh, I have some questions in the past. How do you simulate a front handle car deadlift? Because that setup simulates a rear or a side handle car deadlift. And I took this piece of pipe right here to make a little connector here. And then uh, you're just going to use that as your front handle. And what this is made of is a 2 inch T that goes down into a uh, 2 to 1 inch adapter. 36 inches of one inch threaded pipe into the same thing on the other side. Uh, this can be done using other types of a uh, you know threaded pipe or just wedging a barbell in between some plates and pulling them up but pretty easy to do that should be about roughly forty dollars worth of parts right there. Uh, I also used these two to make frame connectors which you can see in a um, in another video, which you can all put in the description and maybe a little uh, card. I'll try to make clickable for you. But here's the setup. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, you can either do it with the weights out in front of you, which I get a lot of questions on why I recommend to do that when the weights are behind you in a car deadlift. And that's because if you do it here with the weights behind you and pick it up from those handles or make uh, little attachment handles, it's just too easy. And it's a lot harder to do with the weight in front of you. And it really teaches you the proper way to distribute your weight backwards into the lift or else it really pulls you forward. Because you need to kind of uh, position your body in the right way uh, to uh, use the, the leverage to pull the weight backwards because the it's on a fulcrum with this setup where it's not just uh, you know a, it's not just in one range of mo it's not in a range of motion like a barbell where you can move it around it's in a fixed range of motion so you need to really learn how to uh, lift using that fulcrum and with the weights in front of you it makes it a lot harder uh, and it really prepares you when it's easier with the weight behind you in my opinion I had plenty of success in the car deadlift myself and with all the clients I've uh, coached over the years so that's how to set that up. I'm going to do a little demonstration of lifting it in a bit.